It's Jennifer Sparks. We are in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and I'm taking you into Caesars. The casino is two floors. We are on the bottom floor coming in from the boardwalk. I'm in Atlantic City for 11 days and we stay in all over the place, <laughs> shooting videos and having fun. It is early October, 2023. It is restaurant week here in Atlantic City. So once I check out of here, I'm gonna just pack my bags, put them in the car, and we're gonna go take a walk. For more resort tours and information about Atlantic City, please subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be heading over to the Tropicana next, which is also a Caesars Resort. Here's the deal with the Caesars Resorts. MGM Resorts, if your room is ready, they will let you check in at 10 a.m. Caesars won't. If you want to check in early, you're gonna to have to pay to check in early. It's still morning. I just checked out. I'm trying to think, do I wanna have breakfast here or go somewhere else? Like I said, it's restaurant week, so I'm still like undecided where to eat, but I'm gonna be checking into Tropicana later. And that, my friends, is a great place if you like to go dining. <laughs> so I might just wait and eat there. Caesars has recently, and still is, going through a major renovation. It is beautiful. With the renovation, they're adding a Nobu Hotel too. I'm not sure when that's opening, but I do see it on the Caesars app when you go for reservations that it's displayed there. So maybe opening pretty soon. Here is a look at Caesars Lobby where you could find Gordon Ramsay's Club and Grill, also Taza. You can find these in all the Caesars resorts. It has everything. You know, if you're hungry any time of the day, you can find something to eat here. I prefer to go early in the morning because everything's super fresh. The current rates to check in early and based on availability right now, if you want to check in before one o'clock, currently it's $30. If you want to check in between one and three, it's $15. If you want to check in three o'clock and after, it's completely free. I typically don't like going to like counter service places, but these egg sandwiches are really good. I particularly like these ones with the croissant. Make sure if you buy food at Caesars that you put it on your room charge if you are staying over so you can get points for the food that you buy. If you go up the casino escalators one floor, you're gonna find Slice. This used to be the buffet, now it is a pizza parlor that is only open on the weekends. Not sure why they got rid of the buffet. I think it would have been a great place for one. It would probably bring in a ton of people. Also on this floor, you'll find Laurel Lounge, which is a high roller lounge. That's not me, sadly. I have a gold card, which is the bottom basic barrel <laughs> card. I like fancy lounges, but I just don't gamble enough, apparently. On this floor, you'll also find meeting rooms as well. If you're new to Atlantic City and gambling in general, you definitely want to get a player's card because then you could get this if you do decide you want to gamble a lot. You know, you get a free buffet, free cocktails, but even with my measly little gold card that I have, I still get comp rooms and stuff. So even though I don't gamble a lot, you still get huge benefits. So make sure if you do gamble that you do apply and use the card. Okay, we're gonna see a lot today. We're exiting Caesars. We're gonna be going into Wild Wild West first. If you are staying at Caesars, you could easily access Wild Wild West and you could use your player's card in the machines over here to tally up some more points on your Caesars card so you could get future comp rooms, future free play, even get a chance to go to the Laurel Lounge if you gamble enough. I love looking at this room. It used to be a poker room. Look at that lamp. I just, I don't know. I just love this place. It's so cool to walk around. There currently are no table games at Wild Wild West. It's just casino games like slot machines. It also has arcade games and it has probably one of the biggest sports books in Atlantic City. You could access Wild Wild West at two points in Caesars. Over by the parking garage, they have an escalator that takes you down here. Also by Centurion Towers, there's an entrance there. You could also access it through Bally's. We're gonna be visiting Bally's next after this, as well as the Claridge Hotel. You don't wanna miss that, it is beautiful. All four of these places, you don't even need to go outside. They're all connected to Caesars. Wild Wild West, Bally's, and Claridge all have walkways where you can walk from one place to the other without even stepping outside. But you also, if you want to, step outside and you're right on the boardwalk. But that is another video. Today we are going to be going to Bally's. So you're going to take the escalator, or there's also elevators, or stairs if you're feeling like a superhero. Bally's at one point was affiliated with Caesars, but it is no longer. You need a separate card. It's a separate Bally's card, and I highly recommend you get it because the comps are great over here at Bally's. 
Valleys is definitely an interesting one. It's such a huge combination of old historic and really new trendy hip restaurants, but yet it looks like a carnival cruise. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, it's just like such a different array of different senses when you're in there. But I love the restaurants. They have great entertainment at the yard. It's in a fantastic location. The comps are great. And I love the history there. I personally think the place is haunted. I don't know if it is or not, but I get this like warm feeling when I'm walking through there. I don't know, I love the place. The comp rooms they give you are in the dentist tower. The dentist tower is where the history all is. It was like, you know, the hotel. You gotta check it out. Like you have to Google dentist hotel if you're coming here just to see the history of what used to be here. Sorry, I'm rambling about so many things. If you are gonna valet, this is gonna be the walk from the valet over to the front desk. I notice these things now. I travel with my mom who has walking issues, so these things are really important to know. Back to the dentist tower. Those would be the cheapest rooms. Those are the ones they give out for cops. They need severe work, um, but they're old <laughs> and very interesting. I love staying there. I think they have the most comfortable beds in Atlantic City. My husband absolutely hates it. So I like to be up front and frank about the dentist tower. The views are beautiful, uh, but it, it just, you know, it's just a little hammered. At the end of this video, I'll leave my video that I made of my whole resort tour of valleys, including my rooms at the dentist tower. But right now we're walking over to Claridge. The Claridge is not a casino, but it is a historic hotel that is absolutely gorgeous and worth checking out. If you ever go to Atlantic City, you go, have to go see this. Here's an advertisement for the room and the pool. I love that the Claridge just keeps everything classic. You never know with a historic hotel. I've been to historic properties where I walked in and they look brand new. Everything was modernized to death, where the Claridge sort of keeps you into an older feel like you're going back into the time. There is a big arc arcade between Bally's and Claridge. Claridge also has its own parking garage, so if Bally's or Caesars, if you're going to a big event there and parking's outrageous, you could always park over at Claridge for $10 and walk over. This may be boring to some of you, but I always love to come and look at the old pictures. It's so mind-blowing, old historic Atlantic City. And there's the Dennis Hotel. That is the tower at Bally's that you could stay in. Looks quite different now with the yard beer hall right in the middle of it. <laughs> like I said, Bally's is a trip. You gotta go check that place out. My favorite part of this hotel, and unfortunately we're not gonna see it today because it was closed. It's called The View Rooftop Bar. It is stunning. If it's a nice day, you have to go, especially for happy hour because the prices are fantastic for food and beverages. I have a video of my visit here last time. I'll link that at the end of this video too. Just click on the playlist, whatever video you want to look at, and it'll take you right there. We're in the lobby right now. Seriously, this is so beautiful. If you're someone that likes new structures and everything more modern, you're better off staying at a place like Ocean or Borgata. Those are the newest developments. This is for people that really love that, like transporting you back in time. It's gorgeous if you like this. I was in between hotel stays, so I sat down in the lobby and just enjoyed the ambiance for a little while. After this, and it will be my next video, I'm gonna be taking you over to Tennessee Avenue and we're gonna be checking out Tennessee Beer Hall. So there's gonna be a little bit of the boardwalk and a little bit walking down the streets. I'm gonna take you into the Irish pub and then we're gonna be heading over to Tropicana. I'm gonna briefly show you my room and then I'm gonna take you for a walk on the beach and the boardwalk. If you're enjoying this video and wanna see more, please subscribe to my channel. I have a lot to share with you. I'm on the elevator now. Here is an advertisement for The View. There is also a beautiful restaurant here. I believe it's called 20s. That was not open as well. I was able to get into the grand ballroom though. This is just stunning.
goodness gorgeous. I walked like a zillion miles this day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. This is your host and your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. Whatever you do, just make sure you book that trip. You pack your bags and you go to Atlantic City. It's awesome. Be well to yourself. Be kind to others. Safe travels to you and good luck in the casinos.